Hi, welcome along to another video. All the links to the articles featured are in the information section of this video. So we start in Nevada, cloud seeding in the Sierra off, now back on again. Jim Hangels wrote in pointing out, the Desert Research Institute used to have a program where they injected clouds to help them create more snow. He wants to know why they stopped the program. So we can also see from the Reno Gazette a $28,000 donation is bringing back a water generating cloud seeding program for the Tahu Basin. A $28,000 donation from the William N. Pennington Foundation has Desert Research Institute's cloud seeding program in the Lake Tahu and Truckee Basins up and running through the end of the year. Who are the Desert Research Institute? I had a little look on their site for their cloud seeding stuff. Couldn't really find an easy way into that, so searching for cloud seeding. The results come up with quite a few articles. Down the bottom of the results is research programs and networks. So clicking on that, leading unique research programs serving Nevada, the nation and the world. So if we click on their cloud seeding program, during the early 1960s, scientists from the Desert Research Institute, DRI, helped to pioneer the science of wintertime cloud seeding, developing research-based methods for increasing winter snowpack and subsequent snowmelt runoff across mountainous regions of the western US. Since the DRI cloud seeding research program's early days, our team of experts has conducted continuous research and development to create time-tested cloud seeding methods that are proven to enhance snowfall from winter storms. So to point out their continuous research and development from the 1960s, early 1960s in fact. So a good 50, 60 years worth. So what areas are they operating in? DRI's team of scientists and technicians work year round to design, maintain and operate successful cloud seeding projects for state, local and federal partner agencies. During the 2018-2019 winter season, November to May, November 2018 to May 2019, DRI will conduct cloud seeding research and operations in six mountain ranges, including the Lake Tahoe Basin, California and Nevada, Spring Mountains, Nevada, Ruby Mountains, Nevada, Santa Rosa Mountains, Nevada, the San Juan Mountains, Colorado, and in the Upper Colorado River Headwaters region, along the Continental Divide in Northern Colorado. DRI cloud seeding generators will also be operated over the Grand Mesa in Western Colorado. To view the current seeding status for all net network locations, visit Real Time Snow. So there you have the target areas covering three states, California, Nevada and Colorado, regularly covered in these videos, all those areas. So to view the current seeding status for all network locations, visit Real Time Snow. When we click on that, there's no results found. The page you requested could not be found. So if we click on the Wayback Machine, there's one capture from the 30th of April 2016, five years ago, and the Real Time Snow Seeding Network Observation window. As you can see in 2016, all operations were off. So we know now that they're back on again and they just haven't updated their details with the operations. Who is the William N. Pennington Foundation that has made the donation to the Desert Research Institute on the non-profit locator? William N. Pennington Foundation is a tax exempt organization located in Reno, Nevada. This organization has been in operation for 31 years which makes it older than other non-profits in the state. William N. Pennington Foundation has significantly larger assets when compared to other non-profits in Nevada. This organization last reported to the IRS significantly more income than average compared to other non-profits in Nevada. Their classification is a charitable organization. 
Their activity areas are school, college, trade school, hospital, Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, etc. We can see their 2013 income was nearly $76 million. Total assets in 2013, nearly $80 million. And the revenue amount on that, $0. Tax free, that's the way to do it. $79,939,105. Now they've donated $28,000 to carry out the cloud seeding and then we go back to the news 4 article and the letter from Jim and what the weather guy found out there are eight generators set up throughout the Tahu Basin the cost to run all of them is about two hundred and fifty thousand dollars per winter they can also run a reduced schedule for less than that around one hundred thousand dollars and the donation was for twenty eight thousand dollars nowhere near what is needed to run them and who was paying for that before at $250,000 per winter? I wonder if it was the taxpayer. We continue. Pennington also chipped in last year when there was no funding for the programme. So it's not the first time the donation has happened. That funding allowed... Do they mean donation? That funding allowed cloud seeding to happen this week for the first time this winter. So the weather modification is definitely back on. During a normal year, cloud seeding can add up to 20 inches of additional snow. And so cloud seeding is back on, as mentioned. Thanks to the generosity of the Pennington Foundation, the Desert Research Institute has operated the program nearly every winter, going back to 1976, which possibly gives weight to your climate crisis arguments. 45 years of weather modification must have some effect. And definitely thanks to Jim for sending in that question. This is the target area from the Desert Research Institute. If you fancy going and playing in the snow one day, you know what to do. Over to Malaysia. Penang Water Supply Corporation recommends cloud seeding to fill up dams. Penang Water Supply Corporation is recommending that the state undertake cloud seeding operations in 2021 to increase the effective capacities of the two main dams on the island. Over to the United Arab Emirates. UAE. The UAE wants more rain, so it's sending up drones to electrify the clouds. The National Centre of Meteorology has teamed up with a UK university to trial another way to spur rainfall in the desert. The NCM said Tuesday that it is testing whether electrical charges can alter the behaviour of cloud droplets and spur more rainfall during the country's cloud seeding operations. A team of experts from the UK is helping UAE forecasters conduct its research, the NCM says. Our project aims to evaluate the importance of charge in affecting the cloud droplet size distribution and rainfall generation, explains Giles Harrison, a professor of atmospheric physics at the University of Reading, who is leading the study. To study this phenomenon, Harrison says the researchers are modifying the behaviour of droplets and particles. The method also allows researchers to use a smaller, lightweight vehicle to deliver a charge into the clouds, rather than the aircrafts they typically rely on. The NCM's team is using drones equipped with electrical instruments and customised sensors to see if they can modify the size of electrical charges in the clouds to spur the water droplets to grow faster. If successful, the new rainmaking method will add to the UAE's armoury in fighting the looming water crisis. The country began cloud seeding in the 1990s, according to the NCM. Since then, it has conducted an extensive number of cloud seeding operations, although some have called into question certain methods used, such as pumping chemicals into the sky. And also they should probably consider that if they've been doing it for the last 30 odd years, 30 plus years, and they're facing a looming water crisis, that clearly means that after 30 years of weather modification, then it's not helping. Maybe you should just stop living in the desert and live somewhere normal. But anyway, moving on, there's a picture of a drone. Now, if the test is successful, obviously they're not going to use one drone. 
you'll be looking at more than one drone, probably more than three, but test after test, you're going to end up looking something like that, putting out an electrical charge. And for those of you that picked up on where this was going straight away, that is an airborne version of that, isn't it? And you all know what that is. Ionospheric heaters, also known as harp facilities. Plenty of them around the world, over to Indonesia. Hotspots flare up as Indonesia expects drier, dry season. Weather modification, cloud seeding, will start in Riau on March 9th and in West Kalimantan on March 11th. Environment Ministry Director for Forest and Land Fire Control said. So Indonesia's weather also currently being modified along with the American weather. If you like these videos and you want to buy me a cup of coffee, I drink about five litres of black coffee a day. There's a link in the info section. See you next time.